T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, command engine start, 2, 1, ignition. Lift off. New Shepard has cleared the tower. Vehicle is supersonic. Engine back up to full throttle. Supersonic. We have passed through max Q, maximum pressure, dynamic pressure. That's when the vehicle, the stresses between the atmosphere Passing and the speed are at climbing. the maximum. So to punch through that is so important. You see the BE3 engines. It's firing beautifully. You see the, the, the street. right now are One having an incredible view on their way to space. Passing through 80,000 feet, 1,300 Passing miles per hour. Feet. You're going to peak at about 2,300 miles an hour over Mach 3, three times the speed of sound. Shortly coming up, we'll have Miko main engine cut off. We will turn off the engine. But the two craft, the capsule and the booster, will continue their ascent to space. And our and there you see, there you see, the main engine is turned off. We're now going to separate the capsule from the booster, and at that point, Kristen, that's when. All six astronauts are going to start to feel the weightlessness, and shortly thereafter, we're going to let them unbuckle. And that right there is the most critical milestone of this whole ascent. Oprah watching her best friend go to space. Two craft is separated. <laughs> 328,000 feet, 100 kilometers. Welcome to space, ladies, or shall I say, astronauts. Oh, look at the moon. You guys, I have to tell you, look at the moon. Look. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's our pink moon. I love you, Jeff. And just oh in case God. it wasn't clear, those are the astronauts. Those are their voices that you're hearing. And there, they have hit apogee, the highest point in flight, well over 345,000 feet, well over the common line. And at this moment, the astronauts have unstrapped from their seats. They are floating. They are weightless. They are experiencing zero G.
for the very first time in their lives. And Katy Perry did say that she was going to sing in space. I'm waiting for it. Waiting for it. One minute warning. One minute warning. So that is Capcom indicating a one minute warning for our, our astronauts to take in those last views before they get buckled back into their seats. And you hear Dragon. That? Report status. Copy. Whip. Oh. Report status. <laughs> And a great, all astronauts are back. That is the rocket that is screaming back around the, the, the capsule to its landing spot, just two miles north of where it's taken off from. At the top of the rocket, you see a couple of fins that have popped out. Those are to stabilize the rocket as it comes into land. Shortly thereafter, you will see the drag brakes that deploy that will cut the speed of the, the rocket in half. And then in the last moments, and we've there it got, is, we can see it from the stage. There comes the rocket down. It's going to relight its engine. We're going to also see a sonic boom. We're going to hear that shortly here. And remember, this is something that had never been done before until just a few years ago. Truly the stuff of science fiction that you're about to watch in just seconds. Touchdown, welcome home, New Shepard. Picture perfect landing right Picture there. Picture perfect landing. Right on target. You see that dust kind of creates this dramatic cloud that gets re that reveals the beautiful rocket that has just taken these ladies up to space and back. And I love the echo across the mountains. Is that what I was hearing there? That's, That's what nice you were hearing. You heard the, you heard the sonic boom, then you heard the engine relight, and all of that reverberates in this big, beautiful valley in West Texas. All right, shortly here, we're waiting to see the drogue parachutes deploy from the crew capsule. Those are like the guide parachutes. There we go, the drogue parachutes. Just free falling right there until those drogues came out. And then next will be the main parachutes that get pulled out. <laughs> Hear that screaming inside the capsule? And all three parachutes reefing, and they will slowly inflate, slowing the capsule to a nice, smooth 10, 15 miles an hour. They are cruising back home. Three good parachutes. And I tell you, Kristen, from having gone through all of the simulations, going through all, I have gone through all of the training. They put you in the capsule that simulates all of this, including the sounds. And when you hear the mortars of the parachutes pop out, 
That is the best moment in flight. Because I, I, I know Blue Origin does everything they can to make this as safe as possible, as safe as possible. And y'all have an impeccable safety record, but it still has to feel really good when you know that you're coming back to Earth uh, with those parachutes fully deployed. And we can see the capsule just over our shoulder here, going to be landing north and east of the launch pad, coming down softly and beautifully. 500 feet. And you will see a puff of smoke when it touches down, a puff of dust. That should be yes. That's normal. A puff of dust, last milliseconds. Air, air cushion that will kick up the dust. It's a very soft, soft landing despite the sporty uh, perception. There it is.